Hello and welcome to another Kikasui tutorial. Today I'll discuss what regulated DC power supplies are and why they're so important. Most electronic devices use integrated circuits and since electronic circuits operate on DC electricity, when AC electricity is input from a power outlet, it's converted to DC electricity inside the device. These are some of the main reasons why people who develop electronic circuits need regulated DC power supplies. They want to conduct experiments and tests on electronic devices and electronic circuits. They want to use a regulated DC power supply as a substitute for testing circuits that run on batteries. Or they want to charge rechargeable batteries, also known as secondary batteries. DC power supplies exist to meet these type of needs. Since electronic circuits operate on direct current, experiments and tests require a regulated DC power supply. Electronic circuits need specific operating voltages, such as 3 volt, 6 volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, 48 volt, etc. Required currents vary depending on the user's application, and a fixed power supply just cannot provide them, whereas a regulated DC power supply can. So what kind of features are required of a regulated DC power supply? They need to have adjustable voltage and current. They also need readable voltage and current output values. And unlike batteries, they must provide constant limitless power. They also have functions to protect the electronic circuits you are developing from damage. They have a variety of other useful functions as well. Since a fixed power supply cannot support these essential functions, Developers need a regulated DC power supply that can. In fact, all of these features are standard for regulated DC power supplies and have been assisting developers for years. That's it for now. We'll be back with another tutorial soon. See you next time and thanks for watching.